Right now we're going to work on solving a linear inequality. This is going to look very similar to solving a normal linear equation with one added rule that I have to remember. Anytime that I multiply or divide by a negative, I will end up flipping my inequality symbol. Alright, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is try and get these x's together. I can see that one of them stuck inside parentheses, so I will distribute through to free that guy up. I'm also going to combine these two x's here, uh, since they're next to each other anyway. So 5x plus 14 is less than 3x plus 18. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, now to get them even more together, let's subtract our 3x from both sides. So here's a 2x plus 14 it is less than 18. Alright, just a few more steps. We'll subtract a 14. So 2x less than 4. And the last step, let's go ahead and divide by 2. This will give us a solution that x is less than 2. Sometimes you can repackage this into interval notation, and that would look like all numbers from negative infinity up to 2, but not including 2. So in either case, what the solution says is that the uh, x value is just some number less than 2. Let's try this one more time with another inequality. So this one I decided to use a few more fractions, but the process is going to be pretty much the same. And again, keep in mind that if you multiply or divide by a negative, you need to flip your inequality symbol. Alright, so some th things that I see with this one is that I want to get my x's together, but I have lots of fractions running around. I'm going to start off by multiplying by a common denominator, just so I can you know, get rid of a bunch of these fractions. So I say I have 2, 3, 5, and 10. Well, a good common denominator here would be 30. Let's multiply every single term by 30, see what happens. So 1 half multiplied by 30 would be 15x. 1 third multiplied by 30, 10. And 1 fifth multiplied by 30, 6. Move around to the other side. 1 tenth divided by 30. There we go, 3. So everything's looking pretty good, and now I don't have to worry about those fractions. Let's continue working to get our x's together by distributing that 6 in. So 15x plus 10 minus 6x minus 12 is less than or equal to 3. Alright, looks good. Combining the 15 and the 6, uh, that will give me a 9x plus 10, minus 12, less or equal to 3. All right, looking pretty good. A few more things we can combine. Looks like the 10 and the minus 12. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add the 2 to the other side. And divide both sides here by 9. So x is less than or equal to a 5 ninths. Okay, again, you could probably package this up into interval notation. So x is some number from negative infinity all the way up to 5 ninths. Because it says or equals to, we can't include the 5 ninths. So in either case, uh, know that you solve a linear inequality much the same way that you solve an equation. Just be on the watch out for when you need to flip your sign.